What's going on fellow Minecrafters? My name is Brooklyn Otter and we are finally back with another Twitch spawn tutorial video. I've decided that it's been too long. Uh, life's been kind of getting in the way, but that's fine. We're back. I'm going to be doing shorter videos, hopefully churning out more of them. And today we're going to be learning how to name entities after your viewers. You guys are going to love this. It's going to make your streams even more interactive with your viewers being able to see their own names on the screen in Minecraft. And I just want to say the support from you all has been insane. I am at already 600 subscribers on YouTube and I can finally like even picture a goal of a thousand subs, which it just blows my mind. So thank you for the support. You guys are awesome. If you enjoy the content, hit that subscribe button and let's get to it. So we're gonna jump over to our rules file. I have it blank right now because I'm just showing you guys this one specific rule, but you, ideally you're adding it to the rules that you've already been creating. First off, make sure you're on Minecraft 1.18.2. iGoody dropped an update, I think like in the last month or two. So make sure you're updated to that. And now we're gonna learn how to summon a wolf with a custom name of your viewer and best boy. So like if iGoody followed, the wolf would be named I Goody's best boy or best girl, whichever you, whichever you prefer. So we're gonna summon the wolf first, summon wolf, and we're gonna summon it on our current location with the three tildes. And now we jump into the NBT data, which is basically the data that is associated with the entity that has properties about the entity, like the custom name. So we're gonna do custom name. And then it's kind of weird how you do the quotes for this, but you do quote and then slash and then quote, backslash and then quote. Um, it's just how it is. If you do it this way, I promise it'll work as long as you're on 1.18.2. And then to get the viewer's name, it'll be dollar sign bracket actor close bracket. And if someone follows, it'll be that person's name. It's simple as that. Or if they cheer or if they sub or whatever for all of your rules, whatever viewer is doing the action this is how you get their name so we'll say actor and then actor's best boy and then to close we do oh we do backslash and then two quotes so that's how we make the custom name but we want to make sure that the, that the name is visible so we're going to do custom name visible and we'll set that to one, which means yes, we want it to be visible. And then we're gonna do a couple extra things. I want the color of the wolf to be blue because blue is awesome. So we'll do color, color, set it to 11 because that's what blue is. I'll put a link in the description below for where you can find all the wolf NBT data. And then one last thing is you can actually set the owner as well. So owner is going to be the streamer and for some reason you don't have to do the slashes on this one it just works how it is and then streamer close bracket and then close quote and then to finish up the nbt data we want to do another close bracket and the percent sign so this is all one line it's just it carried over because the line is so long i i can't even extend it out but yeah this is all one line so don't don't put an enter like right here because this should all just be one line. So now I'm gonna put an enter because we want to display something. So displaying a little bit of this. Actually, you don't need to do the, I, I like to put a space, another space here, but okay. So <laughs> let me take a step back. So on the first line of each rule, I know a lot of people get tripped up about this. You don't wanna have a space to start. You just want to go get right into it. But then for every line after that, you do want to have a space. So make sure you're doing that. It actually doesn't matter how many spaces you use, which is why I'm doing two spaces on this line. So text and summoned a good boy. Yep. Close bracket. So I'm just closing up all of the, the brackets and whatnot because that's the syntax that Twitch Spawn is looking for. And then What's our event? It is on Twitch follow. There you go. Okay, so that should be the whole rule right there. So let's go back into Minecraft. 
we're going to do a TS quick refresh. So that'll look at the rule set and make sure that it's correct and it'll load it if it works. And boom, successfully reloaded and everything looks good. So now we can simulate the action of, uh, well, we can simulate the event of a Twitch follow. So TS simulate event, uh, Twitch follow, and we can simulate the actor as well. And we'll use our good friend, iGoody, the creator of this mod as the follower. So now we're gonna boom right there. iGoody followed you, summoned a good boy. And look at that, it's iGoody's best boy. I have um, I have Wayla right now so that we can look at the the data pretty easily and look at that the owner is Brooklyn Otter so I can make iGoody's best boy sit down um, iGoody's best boy will follow me or teleport to me but yeah there you have it that's how you get the viewer's name into Minecraft and you can use the viewer's name for whatever you want so have at it <laughs>